Hi, in this quick lecture, I will introduce the target program for this course. To play around with Radary, we'll use an application which was acquired in a very dangerous covert operation and it was extracted from an R3 maintenance droid. We will analyze the binary to find out whether it can be useful for the rebellion or not. So the binary can be found in the Hello Radary folder. So if you look around here, there is the server.exe. If you look at it, it's an F32-bit executable, which means that it's EXE, but it's actually a Linux binary, and it's not stripped, which means that we will at least see some uh, function names. All right, so we are in a safe environment, so we can start it. So let's try to execute it. Yeah, cool, so it's running. Now, what could have it done? Let's open another window and look look at and check whether it opened any ports so for that i will do sudo that's that minus ap and t so if you don't know the netstat command it uh, it's going to list the open ports and with the t parameter i will focus on tcp ports so let's see All right, I need to brute force my password sometimes. So as you can see, since we ran the netstat as root, it shows us the open ports and also the processes which are listening on those ports. So here you could see there is our server.exe and you could see that it is listening on localhost on port 14884. That's gonna be a challenge for you to figure out what the 14884 could mean, but don't stress it too much. It's just my bad humor. All right, so it opens a TCP port. That means that we could uh, connect to it. So let's try to connect to it. So netcat localhost and 14884. All right, so it seems like a login interface for Java's plumbing services. From our past intelligence, we know that Java's plumbing services is just a cover for Java's various uh, underground businesses. All right, so it is for username. I try with Gary. These are not the droids you're looking for. If you go back to, to the original binary, you could see that it logs a few things reading username, Gary, comparing username, wrong username, user rejected. So if it wasn't obvious until now, this is pretty clear. It checked my username and uh, I didn't use the correct username. Okay, so we know so far that this is a 32-bit Linux binary, which opens a TCP port on port 14884. And this is some kind of login interface. So our first reverse engineering goal can be to try to bypass the login interface somehow and get access to this application and see what it does. Maybe that could be useful for our goals. So this executable is our target. And in the next lecture, we're gonna start with Radary. So I will see you there. Bye.